Tony, what are you doing, man? Look, we understand these questions aren't easy to hear, Mr. Sullivan. Okay, Mr. I get Sullivan. it, but my son is missing, man. But young people like LJ have a higher risk of self-harm. It's an unfortunate reality we have to consider. Okay. Okay. Guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned this sooner, but I know a friend of LJ's who might know where they are. And congratulations on the series. It's fantastic. Thank you again. Yeah, it was super exciting. It is so, so exciting. <laughs> well, my first question for you is, um, did you even know about the Best Man franchise before you signed on to the project? I had watched the first movie when I was younger. My mom had showed me, like, a few movies. She wanted me to watch, like, mo she grew up in, like, the 90s, so she wanted me to watch, like, movies that she saw, like, Beaches and Best Man was one of them. And she also was like really into boys. She had like a boys in the hood poster in her room. So she was super excited, especially when I auditioned. So you went back and watched the first one and then you watched the second one, obviously to prepare for the role. Yeah, I when I got it, I had to go back. I, I am in school, so I had to go back from school to the city. And when I did that, I, when I was like on the bus traveling home, I watched the first one over again, and then I watched the second one. But I kind of watched it in a different way than I had watched it previously because I was like younger, I was just watching for fun. This time I was like trying to understand my parents more and like understand like all the other characters, the storyline. So, yeah. Uh, for our viewers, can you tell us about your character Kennedy in the show? Yeah. So Kennedy is. She comes across very materialistic, maybe, and she likes attention, but she's also a very loyal person. I mean, she's really loyal to those that she loves, and she's not scared to be herself and get what she wants. So I think she's a very driven person and may come across surface level one way, but there's obviously a deeper side to her. Well, you can definitely tell in the series she has two like distinct relationships between her parents, especially with her father. It's hilarious yeah. to see with you and Terrence. Yeah. <laughs> do you think she, and you may have touched on this just a second ago, but do you think she kind of uses that to her advantage, advantage sometimes? Definitely. I think that she knows that she has her father wrapped around her finger. And <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, she knows that she could say one thing and get him to do what she wants. But I also think he's more willing to do that because probably because he felt like he missed out on the beginning of her childhood. So I think that it, like she knows she could kind of take advantage of that. <laughs> and watching it, I was watching it with my uh, one of my friends and we we saw like Kennedy as like a younger version of her mom. I, I was like, yeah. that is, she yeah. is spot on Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, it, like her tactics don't work on Shelby because she more, she like probably learned half of them from her, you know what I mean? Like saw her growing up and, and learn how to be that way. And so I think Shelby sees more through her her tactics and stuff like that. This franchise is such a beloved franchise for people from uh, all over the country, around the world, actually. Um, for you stepping on set for the very first time, were you nervous at all? Were you, did you have yeah. jitters about stepping on set? I was definitely nervous. And this is definitely the biggest role that I've had. So that was extra nerve, like nerve wracking. But the first day I was with Terrence Howard, Harold Perno, and then Samantha and Jamila, who play um, Keisha and Kelly. And they were all so nice and welcoming the first day. And like Terrence came over and sat with the kids and chatted with us. And I really felt like it was a very welcoming environment. The crew was also very like amazing, welcoming. <laughs> To me and my mom, they were all, she was on set with me, so everyone made it to. It was nerve wracking, but everyone was really nice. So. One of my favorite friendships in this series is the one between Kennedy and LJ, and I think they kind of both rely on each other in yeah. in the, in, the, in this series. Would you agree with that? I definitely agree with that. I think you really see a softer side of Kennedy when she's with LJ. Yes. So I think they both can kind of be their true selves, and I think. She loves LJ for who they are, regardless of what they wear, anything. And I think that LJ sees that and knows that Kennedy is someone that they can go to and they won't be judged and they can be their truest self. So I think they kind of both look for each other, look for that in each other. 
many of your your big scenes are with Terrence and Melissa, and you guys have such a great dynamic on screen together. First, what was it like working for people who've been in the business for so long and are so great at what they do? And did you, between takes, get a chance to pick their brains about the the industry and anything like that? Oh, well, it was definitely great. I met them when I first met them. They were both like, oh, my God. Melissa was like, oh, you're my daughter. And gave me a hug. It was so sweet. And Terrence, like, throughout the I worked with him a lot. And so, one, like, in the scene where we were dancing at Harper's, his party or something, uh, he, like, gave me his jacket because it was cold where we were. He was very nice and always looking out for me. And same with Melissa. They were both so sweet. And it's great to see them together. And I really learned to, like, go they both ad lib a lot and like add their own stuff and i felt like that was cool to watch and see how they like added their own twist to it and i felt like it honestly like made it natural and added to it a lot and you know on top of them you got harold and you got nia and you, i mean the cast in this film in this series is just absolutely incredible yeah what was it like working with the rest of them that you got to do some stuff with I mean, it was definitely, again, super nerve-wracking. I mean, I've heard of all these people, I've like, <laughs> watched all of them. My mom is like, oh, my God, like, freaking out. But they were all so nice, so funny. And it honestly was great to see them all together, like, when we did have big scenes like that with all of them. Like, you really saw how they all are friends, and they all have fun together and crack jokes. And, I mean, one time I when we were filming this scene where LJ was missing and we were all nervous and I t I was supposed to like be crying and in the shot Tay like walks over to me while we're filming and gives me like an egg in my hand like <laughs> it was just very like random they were very funny they kept it um lively so it was really cool to work with all of them well Malcolm D Lee is the the writer and the director of the series um can you talk about what it was like working with him on set and how collaborative was he with you on set he was on also, everyone was amazing, honestly, but he was also great. He was there the first day and I was taking a picture with Sammy and Jamila and he like popped in the background. So, and he also, you could tell, really cares about the franchise and all the actors. Like he was joking around with all of them and always made me feel included. And also other producers like Dominique and Dana, they were also really great and really made me feel like comfortable and welcomed and were really supportive. So everyone was honestly amazing. I, I know you're, 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 you're just coming up in the business and, and for viewers like myself, it's important to see films and series like this with all black characters with positivity and, and doing, having great jobs and stuff like that yeah. for you. What was it like? How important was that to you when, when it came to being part of this project? I mean, I think that's super important. I think that there's, like you said, not that many like shows that show that. I think it, this show really shows like a great side of uh, Black people, and it shows their relationships. And honestly, it was great working with an all-Black cast and all-Black crew, or mostly Black crew. It was very inspirational, honestly. And to be with all these, like the most successful Black actors is just amazing. And to have them all in the same space was great and i think that a lot of people who watch it like i think it, especially kids like see very successful people and playing successful characters i think that's really important and one of my final questions for you is for viewers who are coming back to this franchise to watch this series what if anything would you like them to take away from watching this series just to watch it have a good time or a little bit of a message what would you like well i mean definitely a good time because i think it's really funny but also i think that it touches on a lot of different topics and accepting different things and everyone has different things going on in their lives accepting uh, death accepting divorce accepting that they're getting older accepting their children just a bunch of like everyone has different issues and things going on in their life so i think that honestly anyone who's watching it can relate to at least one of the characters in some shape or form because they're all going through such different things but come together so yeah. i think it has a lot of different messages i mean i know you just said you were going to school but are there any other upcoming projects you have that you can talk about or you have to be hush hush on anything right now I don't know nothing i can share but hopefully a few things are going to come soon but yeah <laughs>